Hello and welcome to Create to Inspire YouTube Hub. Thank you Mananda for organizing this hub and inviting me to be a part of it. We are 12 artists from across the globe hopping along creating art to inspire. Do check out the details about this hub in the description box below and win prizes from our amazing sponsors. Today, I will be upcycling a table. This project is part of an upcycle series I am doing for a very special cause I am associated with, which is for kids and CKD patients. It is this time around the year that I do a fundraiser from past four years and this project is indeed special as it goes to kids with special needs. So let's get started with the process of how I made this table. So to begin with, I've already primed the table with a multi-surface primer and spackled the holes and then with the wood filler. You see me sanding the base and I will sand it smooth for the next coat of paint to have a better adhesion. Sanded will ensure better adhesion of the next coat of paints which come along, including the base and the top coat. Next, I'm going to color the entire piece to give a base coat. The colors I'm using here are acrylics, and shades are more on the pastel side. Since it is a base coat, I randomly apply it in a free flow manner It is very humid where I live in the north of India and the colors tend to dry most of the times. So sometimes I prefer using a splash of water with a mist sprayer and activate the colors when I apply them. Which will ensure that there are no patches and the colors of the undercoat blend in well. For the top coat, I chose to give several layers of colors using a sponge. You see me mixing a lot of colors in darker tones, mostly dual shades or three shades as I run across the sides and the corners of the table. Corners, I'm using some darker tones in browns and whites and blues on the other end I will be using. I shall keep adding layers 
and I'll keep blending until I am happy with it. Also, I added a hint of metallic gold here and there as a top blend with the same sponge I used for the top layer. And here's how it looks after the final blend. Here are some calendar prints which I chose to decoupage on this table. I have fussy cut them and they are ready to be decoupaged. The baby print will go on the top, all the flowers I plan to put them on the sides. So on the top of the table, I shall be using the image with more gauge gloss luster. I'll apply more gauge. This table is size 21 by 21 by 24 inches and is an ideal size for a child aged 6 to 10 years to use as a study table or it can be used as a side table. Now I would carefully adhere the calendar print onto the top of the table. And I'll run a squeegee or a card to take out any vacuum or extra glue whichever is under the calendar print. Once I ensure that the paper stuck onto my base, I will add some fillers or flowers here and there to make my piece look complete. On the other side of the table, I use the script stencil as a background to the flowers I'll be decoupaging over it.
randomly run the strip stencil. This will give another volume to the floral pattern which comes on the corner of the table. And then I use Mod Podge to adhere the floral pattern which I have puffy cut already. Also, I added some stencil patterns which would add to the aesthetics of the table and the place they're going to. As the last step, I will do three coats of varnish on the entire piece, drying well between each coat. I prefer drying it not without a hair dryer but regular air dry them with three to two hours three to four hours gap in between is ready hope you like this project thank you so much for watching